The life we live is just an opportunity to find out the reason we live for to die for. Did you lose your path? You don't know what to do? As long as you know that you lost your path, you have to stop right there, free your mind, have a seat, breathe in and out, get a piece of paper and a pencil. Then write down a list of the little things you want to do. I know you're stuck at hesitating, procrastinating, being a loser about it. I know you're overthinking, trying to find a way, but you're stuck. That list should be outlined by priorities first and the steps you must take. Start with small plans that you can finish in a week or so. Be realistic when you set your little list of goals and start working on it piece by piece. Whatever your goal is, make it S. Mayart. All your goals should be oriented and you must be devoted to the process, not the consequences. That devotion to the process will make a lot of good things happen. Beautiful things that you'll ever imagine would happen if you focus. Fear is a natural part of life, but it doesn't have to stress you out. Whatever the outcomes you imagine will produce some kind of emotional reaction. Therefore, it's always up to you to redirect your mind to imagine and visualize the positive outcomes you really want, and not the outcomes you do not want for yourself. Then you will feel anxiously depressed, losing your path of success with that fear you generated. Do not panic. There is no such thing called failure. Just experience what you got in mind, but fear no failure and start again with lessons learned. Think well. No one can stop you from being who you want to be. You are rich, but you're not satisfied to know it yet. You have a piece of your brain that you can do a lot with it. You can destroy yourself with the negative way of thinking or focus all your energy on being positive because whatever you are is what you think. The way you think is the only possible way to change your vision of the world and reproduce what you're already here in this life for.